it's not at all difficult for me to understand it. I want to actually go there and uh, demonstrate it. As long as I put my mind into it, I can actually get everything correct. And this will be sh sh shown within a second. But first, you know, if I ever actually mention that Amy Coney Barron has just been sworn into the office. And the Justice to Clarence Thomas was a present. But the problem is, there was a new upset in the coronavirus case. Now the White House just became another hotspot with Mike Pence, no campaign aid, and Mike Pence, possible trouble. There are so many different issues and making things much complicated. However, Mike Pence was not at all seen. Right now, there had been a significant difference. Everyone was just spacing out, and it's no longer what happened in Rose Garden, what's been called as the super spreader by Dr. Anthony Fauci and many other. So everyone was actually making sure that there had been enough social distancing. And uh, some of them were even actually spotted with the masks on their faces. But the problem is that this doctor, another doctor who just actually appeared on TV, which is so angry. He was actually, you know, a, um, a doctor from a GW hospital just a couple of blocks away from the White House. And why President Donald Trump would like to have a very important guest masked with, and uh, protected with such in gear when he was on the campaign trail by having hundreds of people packing up the room sharing shoulder to shoulder with no proper masks or cover-ups. Don't you not actually think that this is a really hypocritical double standard? Why would you ever actually treat me in a different way than you would like to treat very handful of important people? This is really outrageous according to his own demonstration. And uh, Caitlin just mentioned that uh, right now it would actually be less you know, competitive because, you know, when they were actually moving down to South, that's what has been mentioned. But what's been so interesting is the President Donald Trump is no longer talking about Amy Coney Barrett. This confirmation, just within a short amount of time, would it be truly monumental to many of the Republicans or any Republican supporters? Think about it. The conservatives across the nation are very thrilled to hear this news. That was what, in the first place, Donald Trump might have aimed at. But the problem is, he's not actually selling this st story. He was in Pennsylvania. He was uh, talking more about Hunter Biden. I mean, it seems like, you know, his mind is on different issue. That's a very interesting. He said his sights on Hunter Biden and the digging up the dirt. That was what drove him crazy at this moment. That's a very interesting. And, um... Uh, Yeah, this time, you know, the whole event was held in the South Lawn, and there had been a much further recognition of the coronavirus. Because, you know, that was about a month ago when we actually you know, witnessed the nomination of the Amy Coney Barrett in the Rose Garden, where people were packing up the small area, and a hun uh, approximately hundreds of people were sharing the same space with no proper respect for the social distancing or any other safety measures. And this type of ideas were actually seen. However, now they were having very significant changes adopted as if they were more mindful of the COVID-19. But that was not at all enough according to the estimation of the doctor who just appeared on the show. He said that this is really outrageously crazy. Think about it. How would you accept this one in the wake of the Mike Pence's closest you know, associate as a top aide who just actually got contracted and who just actually got infected with the COVID-19? And this is a really unbelievable situation. They still managed to have this type of ceremony. This could have canceled immediately. Think about it. Why would you actually decide to put more people in danger? President Donald Trump has a power to do things in a much safer way. 
but he ultimately refused to do so. That was really the estimation. I'm not lying. It's very easy for me to understand it. And I will actually prove, I don't really actually forget, as long as I really actually read it, and not really the same question. I don't really need to be asked about the same question. Make sure to actually change every little option available. That's all I'm asking for. Whenever there is a new one, I actually perform better, and I will never actually edit the video. You're going to watch that. I don't really need to actually you know, think about every option like a foreigner, but I will actually solve the question quickly as well as righteously. You're going to actually witness that. I feel very offended. So it's a very interesting. Donald Trump, he could actually have squeezed out every ounce of this monumental and his touring event. Think about it. Almost no president had done this type of a fast track nomination and confirmation eventually. And now the actual scale in the Supreme Court has been clearly upset. It's really a, almost like a generation taking involvement. And the actual ramifications of coming from this confirmation would it be unbelievable. The Affordable Care Act, the Roe v. Wade, and many of the progressive causes, now they're on the line. So we would have probably, you know, braced ourselves for witnessing the overruling of a fundamental cases. That would have shaped the United States in a different way for decades. That could be possible even. That means even Joe Biden would be elected as a president of the United States. He's a progressive policy. Would it face another trouble? That's really actually thinkable. If he gets elected... It would still be difficult to imagine how progressive he could be. Even though it is still predicted that the actual Congress wouldn't be on his side. The Senate majority will be Democrats. In the House majority, of course, it's Democrats. The actual entire Congress would have fall in control of the Democrats. However, now the core, the judicial branch, you know, might serve its role in, in a sound way, probably. Maybe that's really the framer's idea. Judici the legislative branch and the executive branch, those are two different fund organs are going to side with Democrats. But the judicial branch at this moment is taking a drastic turn to the right. Think about it. Maybe it's a very intriguing tell the truth, you know. Maybe this type of uh, checks and balances are what, it, what would be intended by the founding members of the nation. I don't know, but it's it's a very interesting. However, it's a great one thing for sure. It's a great step back for many of liberals who might really actually wish to witness the preservation of the Obamacare. It's really crazy. Amy Coney Barrett was very hostile against the the Affordable Care. She literally she had a history of having having lambasted as Chief Justice John Roberts for saying yes to the Obamacare ruling. And so everyone is watching what type of judgeship she would have in the future to come. So every, everything is really murky. But she promised that she would have never, she already promised, she would have never be the pawn of Donald Trump. It means she would never let her judgeship kidnapped by her nominator. And whoever actually puts her in power, she's not going to be taken hostage. That's really the argument she's already sold. So everyone is watching what type of jurisprudence she's going to have. And that's a very, very... influential event but you know it's a very intriguing I, no one actually knows what's happening on donald trump's mind for in the eyes of the republicans and the conservatives this is something to brag about but he is not making much a deal about this 
<laughs> That's a very, I mean, what, what does he have on his mind? No one knows.